Uh, hello, everybody, and it is my great pleasure to participate in this conference, even though remotely, and present some insights from the research project that I conducted last year. So I hope that my presentation today will provoke some interesting questions, ideas, and debates, and I would be happy to receive your feedback uh, so just after the presentation. So my presentation will discuss challenges and opportunities of integrating big data uh, generated by contemporary museums in data ecology and data fabrics of smart cities. It will consist of three parts in which I present a three-dimensional framework of strategic smart heritage data curation mechanisms for a more proactive and human-centered smart city design and management. Before I start, let me give some definitions, basic definitions and background. So museums as their main cultural hubs and powerful social actors operate and produce a large amount of data that capture their activities locally and globally, on site and online, and museum collections spread across physical and virtual realities and accumulate vast digital records. So museum visitors generate complex geospatial data that transcend geographical boundaries of museums as a single location entities. So finally, user-centric interactions across museum communities, objects, exhibitions, produce new digital content and facilitate online engagements. However, the increased datification of museums produces negative effects as well. A new ideology of dataism puts pressure on cultural institutions and urges them to maximize their data flows by connecting to more and more media. As a result, many museums are involved in a constant race for data collections resulting in data excess, which in many cases neither could be meaningfully used to inform institutional development, nor could serve well their audiences and stakeholders. While acknowledging the negative consequences of museum desification processes, my presentation argues that this overwhelming data access could provide a crucial foundation for a more intelligent, integrative, and meaningful sharing and enjoyment of smart heritage in urban contexts. So smart heritage, what is that? Smart heritage refers to an innovative uh, heritage institution or a site that can be enabled, accessed, experienced, and shared by different technologies and communities of users, both in person and remotely, and diffused outside the traditional museum walls and spread around in their whole visitor's experience in an urban uh, environment. So importantly, smart heritage is not just a subset of digital or virtual heritage. It significantly advances beyond both phenomena in its function that are more about developing and heritage autonomous and automated capabilities in the urban environments for curating enhanced human experiences. So in fact, smart heritage converges heritage infrastructure with a smart city design and development. Smart city, <laughs> what is smart city? Smart city is a conceptual technology and an innovation driven urban development model, and it employs digital technologies to accumulate, organize, and manage big data. So the race of smart cities promised a new level of design and transparency of the massive uh, creative city, not simply through a cultural reimagining, but rather through a complete digital and data driven restructure for a more efficient management of the city environment, security and sustainability. However, this requires the development of new tools and uh, expertise to properly manage and understand big data generated by uh, heritage sites, cultural institutions in the urban context. So my presentation outlines an integrative framework to transform a rapidly accelerated museum data access into a more intelligent system that can benefit social and urban uh, development of the smart city. And this research relies on the focus groups conducted by the series of global webinars in the framework of the research project Glam and Digital Soft Power in the post-pandemic world last year. So the focus group brought together around 25 museum professionals from Europe and Asia Pacific to explore potentials of technologies to translate museum museum collections metadata, audience analytics, as well as manually collected qualitative data into meaningful narratives. And they revealed how museums in different cities grapple with the challenges of meaningful data collection, analysis, and public sharing, as well as identified new avenues for a more productive data use beyond the museum walls. 
So during the focus groups, for instance, participants identified several overlaps between smart heritage and smart cities in three areas, such as placemaking, uh, where the historic and cultural value of smart heritage serves as a funda fundamental resource for crafting an urban identity. Second, uh, interpretation and information, which is about smart experience of the city by visitors and tourists. And finally, community aspects which uh, stand for social fabric of smart cities that actual outcomes in terms of public involvement. So my presentation summarizes this insight by presenting different examples supported by conceptual observations and rationale within this three-dimensional framework, which includes such components as data resources, data republics, and data impacts. And let's start with the first one. So placemaking is understood as a strategic effort of multiple stakeholders to market a city for the purposes of attracting investments, customers, and tourists. It engages local myths and symbols to create a positive image of the place. Uh, considering that place making is seldom under the control of one central authority, smart heritage data curation can make it an effort distributed among multiple actors. It could potentially transform place making into a more democratic and open endeavor, engaging locals and travelers. So museums and heritage sites could play a significant role in smart uh, place making by sharing their cultural resources with larger audiences. In the past decades, as you all know, museums have invested considerable resources and efforts to digitize their collections and to open them for much wider and more diverse audiences. Uh, digital resources of museums uh, uh, achieve a high level of global circulation, consumption, and meaningful reuse through application pro uh, programming interface or simply API. So using heritage collections API, smart citizens, can develop new digital environments, dynamic mobile applications and games that can tell a more appealing story about the city. However, making digital heritage data more inter interoperable and accessible and facilitate this meaningful use is really not an easy task that was confirmed during the focus groups. So transforming the data access into a meaningful narrative requires focused actions and collaborations with communities of creatives, academics, engaged citizens. For example, the Science Museum Group in the UK that oversees the collections of 400,000 objects and about half a million archival records launched their collections API back in 2017. And since the time ran a number of focused hackathons to explore and enhance their storytelling potentials. And these public facing efforts were productive to help connect to interested stakeholders and spark collaborations leading to a development of many interesting projects like the congruence engine or random object generator or the most recent collaboration with world's first successful augmented reality urban context based platform Pokemon Go and creating the Wonderland uh, uh, AR app. So uh, this app uh, is a location-based play experience that uses powerful uh, power of augmented reality and geospatial technologies to bring the wonder of scientific phenomena into everyday lives. It combines open street map and map box data to feature and animate data points from lamp posts to wind farms to expose scientific phenomena integrated in daily urban realities. In this way, the Science Museum Group Digital Collections and its metadata contribute to place making of London and some other cities that are participating, exposing it from a new perspective, showcasing examples of science and technologies employed in different elements of urban infrastructure and design. In this context of the rapidly growing app culture that often transforms cities into an infrastructure for consumption, API-enabled apps developed by museums uh, promise to return cultural rights back to people. Uh, they engage audiences with wider urban environments to create a truly interdisciplinary collaboration that could be beneficial for both museums as well as for the development of the tourism. Uh, in tourism development, the power of urban attractions capitalizes on participants' motivations of cost, culture, and curiosity. 
So cultural heritage sites are known to be the most popular and most visited places within urban environments. However, a contemporary traveler demands smart capabilities to have a fully connected experience from hotel check-ins to GPS around town and immediate access to the things they want to see during a very limited short period while there somewhere in a specific city. So smart city technologies developed in conjunction with museums can enable a more sustainable uh, and, and more cultural tourism. Smart maps, wayfinding applications or journey planners can enhance urban experience if they organically integrated uh, and integrate information about museums, heritage sites and other uh, leisure attractions. While these uh, uh, implications are really appealing, it is striking that uh, it is only a handful of cases where these smart systems have been installed to integrate museum data flows into the data ecology of smart cities. There is a lot of data uh, accumulated by museums like website visitor analytics, social media profiling, ticket sales, sensor data, mobile phones, track data, log data that museums don't actually use or analyze that often in relation to their urban experiences. However, this data generated by online public interactions as digital museums, objects and exhibitions could be meaningfully repurposed to supply important information to design more human-centered and enjoyable urban experiences in smart cities. Furthermore, the most important data that can provide meaningful insights into the visitors' experiences is user-generated content. For example, the Arab uh, Urban Landscape um, developed by Barcelona City Council in collaboration with local museums, provides useful tools to save, share, and bookmark travelers' trails and journeys, creating social communities and making smart cultural experience more than a matter of a personal journey. Such apps can enable data sharing and exchange of preferences and personal insights to enhance ur urban design through customization of places and offerings to make them more relevant and responsive. They can also generate recommendation engines, returning the value collected by visitors back to them in the form of user tips and rankings. Indeed, smart cities can become powerful data republics that employ data sharing to create more secure, resilient, and enjoyable urban spaces to enable sustainable tourism. And this approach could bring more productive results in the planning of activities around smart heritage and even enhance reputation of the smart uh, in the age of social media, people actively use their mobile devices to share emotions and engage in online conversations about places they visit and experience. Social media is a perfect tool to measure and monitor public perceptions and even track a shift in opinions over time. So publicly available geotagged sentiment and balance data aggregated from Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TripAdvisor could provide rich and valuable information to both cultural institutions and city designers to monitor the level of public engagement and uh, assess audiences' perceptions to their urban experiences. Co-curation of public discourses, though, could be achieved only when cultural organizations and smart city authorities move forward to the next level of openness and dynamism to adequately reflect on changes expressed through online deliberations. While these deliberations could be not easily to arrange, the project Your Feelings Welcome, developed by the Museum of Contemporary Art in Australia in Sydney, use simple emoji to help audiences to feel that they are part of something bigger. So, uh, your feelings welcome featured artworks depicting uh, ordinary but unique to Australia objects of daily use. Uh, the project offered to visitors to use their app to express their emotions, and the museum published these responses on the digital screens at their building, and they went through the entire city. So reaching out to 4 million people, the campaign helped to reveal what objects, places, and locations excited visitors and what art uh, pieces incited anxiety or depression. 
While this project is illustrative of existing avenues for construction and sharing narratives told by visitors, there was no a meaningful link back to the data ecology of the smart city where the accumulated data could tell important urban stories to further circulate in the global media space. Uh, in conclusion, I wanted to reiterate that my presentation offered this three-dimensional framework of smart heritage data curation mechanism for a more strategic and proactive smart city design. However, these capacities of contemporary museums to share reliable data and are currently really overlooked by municipal governments and moreover disintegrated across all stages of data curation from resources to outputs and to outcomes. And there is really a need to develop new approaches that can transform the abundance and even this excess of disintegrated big data into a platform of data intelligence to inform urban design strategies. So thank you so much for your attention today and uh, I'm looking forward to discuss it further if you have any questions. Thank you for your attention.